we set up a fireworks finale, the difference between building the racks for the finale and building the racks for the bulk of the show is we're going to want to fan these. Okay, when all the finale shells go up, you're going to have a ton of shells in the sky at a time, and you're going to want them fanned so that you get a big spread and you're filling the entire sky with shells. The way we do that, when we build the racks, we're going to be cleaning them in a similar fashion on the base, okay, using a cleat across the base, making sure the base of the racks are together, except we're going to fan them out. So when we put the cleats in the top, the racks will be secured looking something like this. When you're building your finale racks, uh, in order to get a consistent angle between each of your racks and to make it easier when you're building them, the easy thing to do is just stick a cleat in between each. You would do the same on that side. And that way when you're building it, nailing in your cleats, um, you don't have to worry about the angle so much. You know, depending on how much distance you have and how big you can fan your finale, you could go one cleat in between each or you could do two cleats, so on and so forth. But that way it'll give you a nice consistent uh, spread across the sky. So the way that the finale is built, you're going to use cleats in the same fashion, one across the bottom, two nails in each rack, like you see here, and then we'll use cleats across the top depending on how many racks you're fanning, etc. will determine how many cleats you need across the top and the, the angle of your spread. One nail in each rack through the cleat on the top, okay? Name of the game is to make sure they're stable just like when you're building the uh, racks that are all vertical during the bulk main part of your show.